Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's learn computer science. Okay. Let's start today's session. As you can see, today we are going to learn about ones and twos complement, right? Uh, syllabus reference. Uh, here it is mentioned that students should have an understanding uh, about ones complement and twos complement representation for binary numbers, right? So in exam questions, they do come about uh, conversion from binary to denary or denary to binary using two's complement form. So in today's session, we are going to learn about all that, right? So let's start the session. Okay, before we actually uh, start with the, an understanding about ones and two's complement, you should know about the terminology signed and unsigned integers because in exam uh, if you open past paper questions you'll see questions where it is mentioned that uh, there is a signed integer given convert this signed integer uh, into denary or convert this unsigned binary integer into denary so what is the meaning of this term that is very very important before we start learning how to get one's complement or two's complement of a number right okay so signed and unsigned unsigned integers i have written it for you you can read it along with me and then i'll explain uh, to make it more clear right unsigned integers basically are numbers without any sign associated with them so basically we can consider them as positive numbers so if in exam paper it is mentioned that this is an unsigned number that means you simply consider it as a positive number and do whatever is asked in the question paper by considering it as a positive number so no sign means positive number then comes signed integers now Signed integers are basically those numbers where there is a sign associated with them. Either it can be positive or it can be a negative number. So to differentiate between a positive and a negative number, a sign is written. Usually what happens is an extra bit is added to denote sign of a number. So zero uh, tells us if... Uh, any number is starting with a zero and it is a signed integer. So zero means it's a positive number and one means it is a negative number. So if a number is starting with a one, so you should understand that it is a negative number. So signed integers either can be positive or can be negative, right? So I hope difference is clear between signed and unsigned integers, right? Now, there are multiple ways to show a signed number. We have sign and magnitude method, as I have mentioned up there, that usually an extra bit is added. So in sign and magnitude method, an extra bit is added simply. We also have one's complement and we have two's complement form to represent negative numbers. So we are going to learn about one's and two's complement method in this session. So let's start. Firstly, we'll understand what are ones, uh, you know, how to get ones complement of a number and uh, what is a one, ones complement. Ones complement is nothing but simply in taking inverse of each individual bit of any given number. So if a number is given like this, one zero zero one zero zero one. So this, if this is the original number, then it's one's complement is simply converting each one into zero and each zero into one. So first one converted to zero, second zero converted to one, then zero converted to one, then one converted to zero, zero converted to one, 
zero converted to one and the last one, one is converted to zero. So each individual bit, we just can uh, take an inverse of it. So zero to one and one to zero. Nothing uh, major here. Simply zero is converted to one and one is converted to zero. Now, let's move towards the two's complement. Now, two's complement is also very simple. Here, what do you do? After taking one's complement of a number, you just add one to it. Okay. It can be defined as a binary number obtained after adding one to one's complement of that number. I'll just show it with an example. So if this is our original number, one zero zero one zero zero one, so we'll take its one's complement by just taking inverse of each individual bit. So this is converted to zero one one zero one one zero. So that's the one's complement. Now we'll simply add one to this one's complement. So after adding one, we get this as two's complement. Simple. We have another method also. So remember, we can simply obtain two's complement of a number by writing number as it's as it is till we meet first one, you know, digit of. Uh, that number from right hand side and then write inverse of the rest of the digits. So what is the meaning of this? I'll just explain with the help of uh, two more examples, but let's see here with this first example here. So this is our original number. To take two's complement of this number, you just simply just write the number as it is till the first one. So first one is the first digit only from right hand side. So we write it as it is. And then rest of the digits, we just take one's complement of all those digits and write them here. I'll show you this with two more examples. So in this number, we have first three digits at, as zero from right hand side, and then we have one, then we have zero, 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 one, 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 right? I'm reading from right hand side. Okay, now I said this till first one, in this case, first one is here, right? Till first one, write the number as it is. So I have written is it as it is. And for the rest of the digits, just take one's complement and write it. Simple. I have done it using other method also, the first one which I have explained here that take original number add one's complement add one and then uh, you know take two's complement however simple method is that you write the number as it is i'm showing this uh, with another example write the number as it is till you see first one from right hand side so here first one is here so i have written it as it is here one zero as it is. For rest of the bits, we will take one's complement and we'll write it. So both the methods I have explained by taking one's complement and adding one and by simply obtaining two's complement uh, using this method, the simple method which I have just explained. Right? Now, in exam, you do not get question on what is one's complement or what is two's complement. Instead, you get questions about convert a negative binary number to denary or convert a negative denary number into binary using two's complement form. So I have explained uh, it here using two different methods, converting a negative binary number into denary. So first method is that you what you do is convert the corresponding positive number so if a number is given to you and it is mentioned that the number is negative you just forget about it that it is negative you just simply convert the corresponding positive number then convert to denary and finally add the minus sign 
So I'll explain this with the help of an example. So let's say we have a number 1001 and it is a negative number. We can see that number is starting with a 1. So it is a negative number. Any number, if it is signed number and starting with 1, that means it is a negative number. Any number, if it is signed integer and it is starting with 0, is a positive number, right? So this is the example. So as per first method, what will we do? We will take two's complement of this number, which is this. So I have just taken two's complement of this number, right? Now convert it into denary, which makes it 15. So I didn't consider it as, you know, a negative number. Instead, I just converted this, considering this is a normal number. And I, take, uh, I, I have taken its two's complement and then uh, converted it into denary. Uh, which is 15, you have learned how to convert it into denary, right? So use any of those methods and you apply it here. So then just add, finally add a uh, minus sign in front of this denary number that you have received. So this is first method. So as per first method, whatever number is given, take its true complement, then convert it into denary and then add a minus seven. Simple. There is another method also. So as per second method, while writing the place values, most significant bit, that means left most, left side uh, bit, uh, should be written as a negative value. Same example I'll take and I'll explain. So you have learned how to take, how to write place values, right? I have explained it here. So whatever the number is, you know, it's most significant bit. This bit should be treated as a negative bit. So uh, right now you have a number, five bit number, right? Why five bit? Because one, zero, 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 one, there are five bits here. So most significant bit is this and for this place value is 16 but I will not write it as 16 I'll write it as minus 16 so I'll treat it as a negative value but why because the uh, the number uh, this is a uh, sign bit which is telling us that this is a negative number so we'll treat it as a negative number right negative place value now simply put the number here whatever number is given just simply put the number here and then add all those values where a, when, uh, where a 1 is mentioned. So minus 16 plus 1 is minus 15. Simple. So here also we got an answer as minus 15 using first method. And here also we got answer as minus 15. Right. Now there are few past paper questions. So question is convert the signed denary value. So we have learned how to convert binary to denary. Now question in the past paper is convert the signed. Signed means either it's positive or negative. There is a sign associated. So signed denary value which is negative 100 to 8 bit. This is very important because when we'll put the place value so most significant bit is the is as per 8-bit long number. So using 2's complement binary integer. So as you have just learned here, the same this method will apply here. So I'll write the place values by treating the most significant bit as negative. So I've written minus 128 because it is 8-bit long number and rest I have written simply as it is 64, 32, 16, 8, 4 and 2. Now number is minus 100. First bit will be 1. So I have already put it put a 1 here. I have written 1 here because this is a negative number. So first bit has to be 1, right? Now, minus 128 is 1. Now, because you know that adding all these uh, values will give you the final number, final denary number. So minus 128, but I have to make it minus 100. So what is... To be added in it 28 so now i have to other than this one i have to make a 28 out of these 
bits, right? So 64 is bigger than 28, so 0 goes here. 32 is bigger than 28, so 0 goes here. Now 16 is smaller than 28, so I'll put a 1 here. Now uh, 28 minus 16, uh, I have put a 1 here, so 28 minus 16. Uh, which is 12. So I have to make 12 out of these numbers. So which is 8 and 4. So I put 1 here and 1 here and rest I'll put 0. So minus 128 plus 16 plus 8 plus 8 uh, sorry plus 4 gives uh, it gives me minus 100. So answer is this. So this is of 1 mark. So if you write the correct answer, you will get the uh, full marks, right? All right, uh, that's it. We have one more question here. Mm, this one. So here also they have asked you, uh, the denary number minus 20 represented in 8-bit 2's complement binary. So this is denary number given. So you have to convert it into binary. So same method I have used here. So I have written place values, 8-bit. So most significant bit is negative. And then I started filling because this first bit has to be 1. So minus 128 plus what will give me minus 20? It is 108. So I have to make 108 after putting a 1 here. So accordingly, I have filled 1 here. So the final answer is 11101100. So that's all for today. I hope you understand uh, ones and twos complement representation of binary numbers along with signed and unsigned integers. And of course, we have also learned about conversions. So thank you.